Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about Bitemojis and Facebook avatars or the computer cartoon version of yourself. Yeah, I'm talking about those personalized cartoon avatars used in emails, chat messages, and other social media accounts. These avatars have become very popular lately as we're going into a more digital world. Why do you think they're so popular? Why do you pe think people are using them instead of real pictures of themselves? Personally, I like them because I'm pretty shy and I think it's easy to hide behind my avatar. Plus, it's easy because you can do silly things like have a hippo eating ice cream on top of you. So why do you think these avatars are being mentioned in your art class? When you create a Bitmoji, you're observing and making artistic choices to create something that looks like you. It's a modern day self-portrait. When de designing an avatar, you're taking a close look at your head shape, your nose, your eyes, your colors, and you're making a thousand different combinations to make something look like you and celebrating what makes you different so we're not boring. Now, normally we do these digitally, but I'm going to add a twist. Like the street artist Invader, we're going to take something that's normally digital and use traditional art materials to create them. You know, traditional like paints, crayons, markers, not computers. So when you're ready, grab an art a pencil, make a list of what makes you you and grab that work packet and practice drawing a few eyes, noses, ears, and mouths. Now to help you out with this project, I created a guide with sample body parts and shapes that you can trace. I normally don't like you to trace, but our goal in this project is to observe what makes you you. Use the packet as little or as much as you like. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself. You may notice that on the faces there's little guides and marks to where the eyes, nose, mouth, and ears will go. Use those. Choose your hairstyle that best matches you. Add some clothes, your eye shapes, your eyebrows. Really observe what makes you you. Then make sure you add your own twist with your clothes. Most of you probably don't have light boxes to trace, so you could use a window or tracing paper. To use the tracing paper you lay it over the, the packet, trace what goes with what, then you can flip it over in your good paper, rub it and it transfers the image magically onto the good paper. Make sure you are creative and add your own twist to this project. Do you have a favorite outfit you need to draw yourself in? Or can you pose yourself doing something silly? When you're happy with your pencil drawing, color it in. I'm going to suggest you use colored pencils because they're small and good for details. At Go Slow and Show Good Craftsmanship, to challenge yourself, add a twist with little characters or your dream animal or something. I can't wait to see what you create. 